Welcome to 2255 Cape Pine. It's a 5,400 square foot home on 1.2 acres in Peregrine. About the only sounds you hear around here are the birds and the glider planes from the Air Force Academy just to the north. This one was built in 1995. Has four bedrooms up and a main level bedroom. Full bath upstairs, it's Jack and Jill and a huge five piece master. The main level bath has an attached three quarter, uh, excuse me, the main level bedroom has an attached three quarter bath. You can see there's just beautiful landscaping everywhere. We're at the height of fall color this week. Got the aspens turning. Two story entry and living room, great room. Huge dining room. Lovely staircase going up. That's the master to the left. Great room with a gas fireplace. Huge windows. Now there's acreage here. There's almost an acre of land directly behind the house. We'll walk out onto that. Big eat-in nook area. the decking. So you sort of have deck A, a big play area over here. This is deck B. There are plug-ins for uh, hot tub wiring beneath the deck. And as you can see, there's just about total privacy here. Peregrine neighborhood is known for its large population of mule deer. Just across that ridge, perhaps you can make it out, are a series of telephone lines, and those are just on the inside of the United States Air Force Academy. Mount Blodgett and its open space are up in this direction. Garden of the Gods Park to the south by about six miles. Cape Pine is one of the true destination cul-de-sacs within Peregrine, typically known for being a street of $600,000 properties. This home is priced at $539. See everything on here is first rate in terms of the decking. Slab granite counters at the bar, counters in the island. It's a brand new Bosch glass top stove. KitchenAid dishwasher, stainless inside, white cabinets, new hardware wall oven and microwave. It's a big walk-in pantry and laundry room just off the kitchen. Three car garage is spacious. For reference the vehicle's a Murano showing you the depth. Now at this whole back side you have these great views where almost all that you see are the scrub oak, hillsides, furniture vanity in here with granite, separate mirror and a three-quarter bath. So if you needed a main level bedroom for guests, boy do you have a big one here. There's a blackout blind, 
got its own walk-in closet. If you needed a massive home office, this would also be a great location. If you needed a playroom for the main level, it would work well that way too. vaulted ceilings, the overall spaciousness of the house. Two secondary bedrooms on the left side. Tile floors, double vanity sinks. Secondary bedroom here. This is bedroom three upstairs. Also a good home office area. And the large master bedroom, which also has its own gas fireplace and sitting area. French doors to the master bath. walk-in closet. A sense of space as I walk up to the back side of it. Basement on this home is about 1,800 square feet. It's unfinished. It's a walk-out lower level, but it does have nine-foot ceilings. So if you were to finish it off, you could add an additional two bedrooms, a bath, a rec room, a gigantic storage area. And at least one of those bedrooms could be daylit or it wouldn't need a window well. It's twenty two fifty five Cape Pine priced at five thirty nine in the Peregrine neighborhood.